Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and a warm welcome, welcome if you're new, honey. Today we're going to talk about Brown's Jeremiah Uwusu Koromoya's brother being found dead inside his home. It is being investigated as a homicide currently, but I have some extra information. So if you're looking to get into this story, just stay tuned. I am absolutely sure that this is devastating news for the Cleveland Browns linebacker, Jeremiah Uwusu. His older brother was tragically found dead by police on Tuesday inside of a Virginia home, and he was only 23 years old. Hampton police state that the officers responded to a 9.57 a.m. call on Tuesday about a deceased person at the 400 block of Lake Tower Drive. When authorities arrived on the scene, they said they found a dead body inside of the residence as well as evidence of a fire. Police announced on Wednesday that they were finally able to identify the victim as Jeremiah's brother, Joshua Emmanuel Uusu Koromoya. And now the authorities have added that they are investigating the death as a homicide. Unfortunately, Jeremiah is not even in the States right now. He's currently in Ghana hosting an NFL in Africa football camp. I'm sure the loss of a sibling is already like so much pain to bear but something is telling me that they are really or they were really close not only are their ages really close jeremiah is 22 joshua was 23 but they also played football together at bethel high school in hampton so it's like you lost like a teammate and a brother in one and i just i i don't know why but to me i feel like that's even more painful while jeremiah ended up going to notre dame and becoming the brown second round pick in the 2021 draft joshua played three seasons through 2016 and 2018 as a reserve linebacker at william and mary where he majored in chemistry our sympathies are with the uwusu koromoya family the w and m football team said in a statement on wednesday Joshua's loss will be felt by the many individuals in our athletics program and campus community whose lives he touched with his kindness and caring. Joshua was a science teacher at Hampton Christian High School, according to his friend Jew Barker, who told the Daily Press he knew something was wrong earlier this week when Joshua stopped responding to his messages. It was automatically heartbreaking when he wasn't answering phone calls because he was the most punctual, respectful, humble, and reliable person I knew. Barker said. We tried to hold out hope as long as we could. When we found out it was him, it was demoralizing trying to figure out how this happened. Police say the homicide investigation is ongoing and there is no additional information to release at this time. Wow. Um, this whole situation is just like really crazy to me. Um, number one is coming out of nowhere. Number two, this guy was only 23 years old. That is my age, y'all. I'm not even trying to tell y'all my business, but I am 23. And it's just kind of scary to think about somebody who's just like so able-bodied. They're, um, you know, perfectly fine in regards to like health. Um, they're a science teacher at a Christian high school. It doesn't seem like they've done anything to get themselves in this position. Now, I know that nobody has any clue what happens behind closed doors, but from the outside looking in, it looks like this guy was just on the straight and narrow. And for some reason, he still got his life taken from him. And that is just so scary. And that is just so unfortunate. So my prayer is going up to the family right now and anybody who knew him. Also, guys, if you have any new updates or anything like that, feel free to leave it in the comments. And if I find any updates, you know, I'll definitely make a new video over it. In the meantime, guys, make sure you like, subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time I post. And please be careful out here. Stay strapped if you need to. Bring your Tuca, bring your Glockiana, <laughs> like bring your knives and your pepper spray, like whatever. Make sure you protect you and your family, like for real. Love y'all. Bye.